Hi and welcome to Deep in the Bunker and today we're going to be discussing what you do with your rubbish when it isn't collected. That's right, when some asshole zombie warlord has decided to defund the police and your refuse collectors can't get through because they don't feel safe because you've got a lot of people with guns on the streets controlling what happens in life. Well, this is SHTF and it isn't pretty. So, in an urban environment, what do you do? Do you bury your rubbish? Highly unlikely. Um, me personally, I've got plastic grass down on the ground, um, you know, and underneath that, there's patio. So I'm not gonna be able to bury my rubbish. And the volume here, it's just too large. This is just a week's worth. And I say, this is caused by some guy putting a plastic bag in my recycling bin um, on the morning of the collection, therefore, they wouldn't collect it. What I got, instead of my recycling being taken away, was a note through the door. Sorry, please don't put these items in there. We will not collect today. So, two weeks later, and this is the build-up. As you've seen from the photo, uh, I've got a couple of bins in there, absolutely rammed full of recycling. Hopefully they're going to be taken away today, if no one else does something stupid, like um, plastic bags, etc. So, I can't bury it in my garden. I can't bury it under the sidewalk. I can't bury it in a park. In an urban environment, it is extremely difficult to get rid of rubbish. So, whatever options are there, let's explore it. Now, I'm extremely lucky here. I've got a uh, solid fuel burner, wood burner, whatever you want to call it, fireplace. Um, so, things like paper, cardboard, um, all up the chimney, no problem. However, plastics. That is my Achilles heel. I'm not going to burn it. If I burn up here, this is going to melt. It's going to stick to the side of the tube, um, you know, and create uh, a resin potential um, chimney fires later on when something else goes up there. So really bad. Paper and plastics, wood, all good. Um, plastics out the window, I'm afraid. Absolutely out the window. Disgusting. Uh, bin juice. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. So what else can we do? Well, the next stuff we've got to do is um, composting. Yep. So things like your banana skins. Mm. So, mix that with some paper. Finally shredded up. Yeah. So all these things can go in and start your very first little composting bin, which you're going to need. You're going to get rid of it. It's got to be done. Yeah, so as the weeks draw on, you'll find yourself collecting more and more compost, put it in there, and your compost bin will grow. Now, you're not going to have soil, good soil, uh, for a year or so, but, you know, it's a way of getting rid of it, and it really does reduce down as time goes on. Now, another great thing to get rid of, a really useful, if you've got a garden, or a plant pot, or whatever, eggshells. So, these babies, crush them up. Natural slug repellent. You wouldn't walk on eggshells because they, you know, with your bare feet, because they hurt. So, a slug sure ain't going to do it. And that's the thing we've got to consider, is pests. Things like slugs, uh, we talk about eggshells, natural remedy. But, uh, you're composting, you've got things, vermin now coming. You've got rats, you've got mice, whatever. Uh, they're going to want out your banana skins, your vegetables, whatever you're putting in there. Obviously, don't put meat uh, products there, bones, because they're not going to go down. But with your vegetables, it will attract vermin, it will attract smell, it will attract flies. Uh, that is up to your individual control, I really can't help you there. Um, but just do your best with whatever you got. Just put a thin layer of soil on top of every um, uh, bit of compost you're doing there and hopefully it will keep it all down. Now this is all very good, um, having done your compost and your burning, whatever, but you have that long-term problem of storage of your plastics and etc and it has to be stored there's nothing you can do with it you can't you can't bury it you can't burn it uh, your tins your plastics they've got to be stored you know what and uh with that i think it's maybe time to address the real source of the problem you know your zombie warlord uh <laughs> yeah that little fuckwit with his big ideas and his big guns controlling what comes in comes out you know uh, high morals and no fucking infrastructure to back it up you know it's stupid so you know i take i take the rubbish fucking dump it on a fucking protest line right in front of his face and go here you go you deal with it you're so clever you know what to do you deal with my rubbish you take it away you know 
oh dear, you can't. You, can't, you haven't got a feeling structure. You haven't got the people who want to come in because they're scared for their lives because you've got fucking guns in your hands. Well, tough monkeys, mate. It ain't sticking in my house. It's going to stick on your line. Yeah? And if I find out where you live, I dump it on your doorstep too. Well, on that somber note, it's been deep in a bunker. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay out of politics.